Thank you. Senator Kennedy. Thank you, Madam Chair, and thanks to all of our witnesses. Dr. Kowalski, thank you for giving so much. Have you ever heard the expression, yada, yada, yada? What does that mean? Yada, 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 man? Yeah. On and on and on? Yeah. We've had so much yada, yada, yada about affordable insulin. Not from people like you, but from us. We've been nibbling around the edges for years. Um, Dr. Rogers, thank you for giving so much. Let me ask you a, a question. Do you have health insurance? Fortunately, as a government employee, I do have health insurance. And it's pretty good, isn't it? It's pretty good, Senator. Now, who do you think needs affordable insulin? Who do you think needs capping the price of insulin at 30 bucks or so more? You are a homeless or are an uninsured person. Was that to me, Senator, or to you. Dr. Kowalski? Well, the, the, as you asked the question, I think the person who's less available to afford it uh, would probably benefit more. Yeah. We've got 30 million people who are uninsured in this country. And some of them are diabetic, too. Now, Senator Shaheen and Senator Collins have a great bill uh, Senator Warnock and I have a bill, too, on insulin. Um, it, it's called the Affordable Insulin Now Act. And we're working closely with, 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 my, my, uh, with Senator Collins and Senator Shaheen. Our bill would, would cover everybody. Everybody. Whether you have health insurance or you're uninsured. Because a lot of people become uninsured. Now, I know our health insurance companies, and God bless them, they're trying to work with us to lower the cost of insulin, and they have, they have these, uh, these uh, programs, they call them uh, uh, patient assistance programs. So if you're uninsured and, and you can't afford your insulin, they'll work with you. But, but have you ever tried to apply for one of those programs? Have either of you, any of you? Oh, my God. First... The application process, the fine print to apply, there's so much of it. You could hide a dead body in there. Nobody would ever find it. Um, number two, they send the medicine to your doctor, not to you. So if you got a job or if you don't have a job, you got to go to the expense of driving all the way to your doctor's office. Probably have to pay your doctor to get the medication. I mean, that's a special kind of stupid. Uh, it only cover, these free programs only cover one or two forms of insulin. And get this. Yeah, they'll give, you, they, they, they'll give you cheap insulin, maybe free insulin for a month or three months or at best a year. And then after a year, you go in one day, and instead of 30 bucks, it's $567.23. And you oh, go, oh, my God, i got to go sell blood plasma to be able to afford it. We need to stop nibbling around the edges. We need to be smart enough to figure this out. And the cost, I think it could be done for $250 million a year. And I'm not talking about taking out a reverse mortgage on Alaska and borrowing more money. <laughs> I'm talking about finding it in our budget. At least let me ask you a quick question. You probably don't know the answer. I had to look it up. But if I started counting to a billion right now, right this moment, in 2023, and I counted, y'all listen to this. You may know the answer. I counted, I counted one number a second. One, two, three, four. Five, and I counted all day and all night, and I counted in the shower, and I counted between bites of a, bites of a Pop-Tart at breakfast. I keep counting and counting. How long do you think it would take me to count to a billion? Uh, a very long time. You know how long? <laughs> right. I told you you were smart. It would take me, it would take me 32 years. 
for one billion, I'd be 55. I, I, it would be 2055. I wouldn't make it. Now, you know how big the federal budget is? That's just one billion, folks. The federal budget is six thousand billion dollars every year. And we can't find 200 and 250 million to cap the price of insulin? Let's do it right. No more yada, yada, yada. Thank you.